Welcome to Excel Works video tutorials. In this video, we'll demonstrate the 3D interpolation Excel based on the Excel Lab Calculus add in library. Excel Lab has a very versatile 3D interpolation function in Terb XYZ that's based on the natural neighbor algorithm. Often, you have to work with random XYZ data points that you've collected from a source, and Terb XYZ will allow you to interpolate Z at any new points to map the random scattered points onto a uniform grid for easy plotting in Excel. We will demonstrate this in this tutorial. For example, to interpolate at a single point, you would use interb XYZ in the following format. You would pass in the first argument the range of XY points, which is a two-column range. In the second argument, the vector of corresponding Z values. And in the third argument, your point of interest that you want to interpolate at. If you have a single point, you can run interb XYZ as a single formula. As, I sh as shown here using a constant array, or if you have multiple points, then you need to run interp XYZ as a array formula in an allocated vector. To interpolate scattered data onto a uniform grid, you do the following. You allocate a range to hold your grid. The first row of the range includes your X values, which you can easily generate starting from the first second and then use Excel autofill. Similarly for the Y values, and in the yellow region, you would run in Terb XYZ as an array formula, passing the following arguments, the, the X and Y data points, the corresponding Z values, and then the grid X coordinates, which is this vector here, and the grid Y coordinates, which is this column here, as shown in this example. Evaluating in Terb XYZ will display the interpolated Z values in each cell that corresponds to the X and Y values. Create a surface plot you simply highlight the interpolated Z values on the grid and insert surface chart from Excel ribbon. We will demonstrate this process for the following sync function, which resembles a Mexican hat. We will sample the function at random points from the domain 0 to 12, which is only one quarter of the full domain. We will map the random points onto a uniform grid 12 by 12, and then we will plot the grid values using Excel chart. We will perform this live in Excel. I've already prepared my random X, Y, and Y value, random X and Y values and the corresponding Z values. You can see here that the Z value is the same function I've just shown before using the following cells and, and using Excel autofill I can generate the rest of them. I have generated about 300 data points to have good coverage in the area. Uh, the X and Y random points were generated using the RAND function in the following way run times 12 and then I drag this down similarly for Y. But before I can generate the Z values, I have to copy these values as numbers into a new range. The reason being is Excel will automatically keep changing these values whenever they are accessed because of the run function and this will lead to inconsistent results. Now having done this, I have generated a row of numbers here going from 0 to 12, an increment of 0.4, which represent my X values. I've similarly, I've generated the Y values from 0 to 12 as well. And then in the range here, which I'm going to uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see the full range, I insert my formula here and you can see the arguments to the formula. Uh, the first argument is the X and Y values. The second argument is the corresponding Z values. The third argument is the uh, purple X values and the fourth argument is the Y values and then I press Control shift enter automatically Excel recalculates and populate the, Z, the range with the Z values now to plot this data it's already highlighted I can just go to insert 3d plot surface and select my 3d plot surface let me just zoom in here and you can see I can use some of Excel for matting features to customize the plot the way I want it. This concludes our tutorial. There is also a 2D version of this function that you can check out on excel-works.com with examples. Thank you for watching.